Good morning, modern steaders. <laughs> It's a brisk four degrees below zero out this morning. Libby's, why don't you come over here? I want to show you something. Look at the moon. Yeah. See it? Yeah. And look how beautiful the sky is this morning. I know, look at all the icicles. Oh, that's crazy. Look at them all, Libby's. The birds are chirping, the mountains are glowing. And the moon is bright. It's gonna be a good day today, Lovies. Tomorrow is supposed to be 40 degrees. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys stay warm last night? Woohoo! <laughs> I know, it's supposed to be warm tomorrow. Hopefully this is the end of it, guys. I hear ya, I hear ya. Ah. Coming out. Just checking out the weather and I don't know if I should tap the trees today or continue working on the wagon. Tomorrow's supposed to be 40 degrees. And then Friday, it looks like a high of just above freezing. Saturday, just above freezing, and same on Sunday. And then at night, it's supposed to get below freezing. So that's what you need for the sap to stop flowing, is you need the above freezing during the day. And we want the sap to be flowing in our maple trees to make maple syrup. I probably didn't really say what I was talking about, sorry. But sometimes it takes a good thaw to initially get them running. So I don't know if they'll start running this weekend or not. The plans were to work on the pig trail in New Hampshire, but we might have to put that off and tap some maple trees. What do you girls think, huh? Should we tap some maple trees today? or work on the trail. Like, just give us our food. <sighs> Depending on the angle you look at Willow, it looks like she's got a baby bump going on. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Huh, girls? All right, girls, you want some more? Hey, there you go. Yeah, how are you doing, Blossom? Did you sleep good? Coming back in, Figaro. You coming? Come on. Let's go in where it's warm. You coming in? Come on. This past spring when we had our property log, we lost some of the maple trees that we tap. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. <laughs> My hands are full. <sighs> but we have more trees across our brook, but they're not easy to get to. I was hoping to put in a bridge across the brook. I didn't have time last year. So I'm not gonna be tapping trees across the brook right this year. So hopefully I can find a few more over here that we can tap. If not, I think we'll have five or six trees to put taps in. Good morning, peeps. Did you sleep good?
Watch out, moose. Wow, three eggs already. Two. Three. Nice. Hey, Pluto. So last year, I had one tap in this maple tree, which by the looks of it, I could do two in this tree. So that's two. This tree over here, I only had one. I could do two taps in that tree. That's a big old maple. So that's four taps. I believe we have 10 taps. I don't think we have 12. I think it's 10. All the maples on this side are too small. That right there is an ash. We got a nice maple right here. So that's five taps we can do. This tree right here is a really nice maple. Put one tap there, so that's six. Put one tap in this tree with the orange ribbon. That's another nice maple. That's seven. We have a nice maple here. It's actually a double one. So we could do nine, no, eight, nine. And then over here, right here, right there, that's our 10th tap. So actually, that'll work out perfectly. Look, I just saw the hole from last year, right there. That's pretty cool. We have enough trees for taps. <laughs> awesome, and we're not gonna have to go far to collect the sap. It's even better. Let's go check out the tapping equipment and see what we need to do to that so we can get these trees tapped and ready, maybe for some sap flowing this weekend. All right, I need to find a 5 16 drill bit. This is the one right here that we used last year for maple syrup tapping. Got my little quick guide. Wanna find an inch and a half, which is here. Take a piece of electrical tape. I gotta mark the drill bit with the tape at an inch and a half. This way we know how deep to drill our holes for the taps. Perfect. Will it focus? Yeah, perfect. Bring out the green hammer so if we drop it in the snow, we'll find it. have everything stored in the outdoor kitchen slash Kubota garage and hay storage for the winter. We have all of our buckets and our taps right here. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have, oh, Jesus. there we go. Inside, we got our caps. I sterilized everything when we put it up last year. Luckily we got the hot water outdoor spigot so we can clean up a few of these buckets that need it. Hose is a little stiff after being out here in the negative degree weather. Uh, we'll get some hot water through it and It'll loosen up, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. There we go. One of the best things I installed was this hot water, cold water, outdoor spigot, guys. It's so convenient when you're harvesting and cleaning animals or your produce. Definitely nice to have. I'm gonna go grab some soap and get these washed up. 
I ended up rewashing everything just to be on the safe side and make sure everything was sanitary. Didn't want to lose the syrup due to that. Buckets of the sled. I've been beating on my gloves really bad lately, guys. Using them for stuff they're not intended to use, and the seams are coming unglued. That's my own fault. But oh, they work so good for work gloves. They got good grip, good ambidextrity. However you say that word, I can move my hands nice. So whether I destroy them or not, I'm going to get another pair for next year. Ah, oh, this slide is coming in so handy. Guess we'll stop right there. Gonna get that tree. All right, let's get the hole drilled first. Almost need my snowshoes, guys. All right, last year, I believe, I drilled it on the back side. Where's the hole from last year, guys? Not seeing it, and that could be because the snow is so high too, guys. But there's the sun. So we're better off drilling it on the side where the sun is and try to make sure we don't drill right next to last year's hole. We wanna go at a slight upper angle this way. The sap will drain down and in, and it'll be good. At our inch and a half mark, that nice clean maple wood bucket. Right now with the snow, that bucket's gonna be sitting high. But once all the snow, snow starts melting, oh guys, this, I don't know if our line's gonna be long enough once we melt all the snow. All right, put that in our hole. We also have our cover vented so it can breathe. Get it started and we'll give it a slight tap. I like it guys, I like it. First tap is installed. Oh, my drill. Well, we didn't have to go very far for this one. So last year's hole is right here. So this year, let's put it here. get the drill. I'm wondering guys, if I drill one here and one here, if we can drain into the same bucket. All right, so here at a slight upper angle. And then we'll do this one right here. Frozen wood. Oh, let's put our drill back. Grab two taps. There we go. 
and the hammer. This one. All right. I'm gonna wait and I'll come back with a bucket and a lid. We'll drill two holes in one lid. We'll have these two go into the same bucket. Don't let me forget to do this. So this one right, this tree right here was one of our better producing trees last year. Whoa. Uh, it's our hole from last year. So let's do one right here. back here guys let's grab a bucket need a lid snap it on there good just in case it falls over the taps are frozen pretty good right now And the hammer. Go right there on the deep snow. Here we go. Just want to make sure it's in there good and it's not going to fall out. Buckets off to the side. I like to give it a good little twist. I don't know if it matters, but that's how I like to do it. Whew. Good. The snow is so deep. I'm probably three, maybe four feet up in the air right now. I don't know what's gonna happen when all the snow melts with our buckets and how far down the tap line's gonna be. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna go here. Last year they ran on a white lids, so I had to get blue. I did all the same color buckets, so this way I know, hey, my white buckets are for food. These are food grade safe buckets, so don't use them for anything else. So white buckets on the homestead here, other than paint buckets, are food for food only. If we have red ones or all different other colors, we can use them for different things, but white. You only put something in here you want to eat. <laughs> so deep, it's not even funny. I know we're high up in the tree right now. But when it comes to the size of the bucket, uh, we're not that high up. <laughs> Too funny. Big old ice chunk right here. I think it's gonna take a while for the root systems to warm up and the sap to stop flowing, but we're gonna find out.
Pluto's been over here. Got some thick bark here. Go right here. One. I think again we'll drain both of these lines into one bucket. <sighs> there we go. Let's grab a bucket. I'll come back out with a double hold lid after. All right, this one I think we can do two taps. We'll do one on this side, one on that side, and we'll use different buckets. Try going right here. Tap. Does that smell good, Pluto? Does that smell good? Where are we gonna put the bucket? I think over here, guys. My battery's flashing red, meaning my battery's cold. So I'm gonna warm my battery up and we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're switching over to the GoPro. I've already frozen up two batteries on the other camera this morning. The lithium batteries do not like this cold weather. I got my cover and I got a drill bit to drill another hole in them. So let's get over here. We'll get this drilled out. And then we have one more tap to install today. I'm gonna drill it on the opposite side. So right here. There we go. Let's drill out the other cover while we still have the drill bit in the drill. All right, here's last year's hole right there. This year we'll do it over here.
deep right here, guys. Oh, let's dig out some snow to set the bucket in. Just got to put a lid on, one more bucket, and we're done. All right, we did our part. Now we wait for Mother Nature to do her part. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna go inside, have a cup of hot coffee, warm me up. I'm sounding a little funny. It's because my jaw is starting to freeze up. Then it gets stiff and it makes it hard to talk. <sighs> you ready? I know it's kind of a weird place for me to end the video, but I feel like the video is getting long enough as it is, and me and Olivia had such a great time sledding this day. I wanted to be able to share more of it with you, so we're gonna cut the video here, and we're gonna do a bonus video on Sunday of us sledding and what we did later on in the afternoon. Oh, we had so much fun, I can't wait to share it with you guys. I haven't edited all of it yet, but I'm excited to see it all too, man. What a crazy day. We've had some strange weather. I hope we picked the right day to tap our maple trees and they'll, the sap will start flowing and we can make some maple syrup here this year. And Oh guys, it's just been such a good day here. I hope you guys are all having a good day. And just remember, your uniqueness makes you who you are. So let it shine, guys. Let it shine. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres tomorrow for the bonus footage. See you tomorrow.